The Arizona Game and Fish Department welcomes you to the Ben Avery Shooting Facility. We're very glad you are here. We will try our best to ensure that you have a great experience today, and we hope you return again soon. This video will familiarize you with the commands and procedures that you will need to know on the range. So please sit back, pay attention, and you'll be on the range before you know it. In this video, we're going to talk about gear, safety, and how things work on the main range. The Arizona Game and Fish Department operates the Ben Avery Shooting Facility, the country's largest publicly owned shooting range, encompassing over 1,600 acres. The department is committed to supporting shooting sports and to preserving opportunities for shooters and archers to enjoy their sport in a safe and responsible manner. One important safety rule we follow here at Ben Avery is to treat every firearm as if it were loaded. Whenever you handle a firearm, hand it to someone else, put it in a case or take it out of a case, check to make sure it is unloaded. Always make sure your firearm is unloaded unless you are actually on the firing line. When you get ready to visit the main range, all firearms must be secured within a carrying case. If you do not have a case for your firearm, you can purchase one at the Shooting Sports Center or you can pick one up at your local sporting goods store. Firearms stored in a hard or soft case should be unloaded with the magazines removed and the actions open. This brings us to another important safety rule. Always keep the muzzles of your firearm pointed in a safe direction. The safe direction for all firearms is with the muzzle pointed up or down range. Because the firing line at the main range is made of concrete, if a firearm were to be discharged towards the ground, it could ricochet and cause injury. Pointing the muzzle down at the ground is not safe. As a responsible user, remember always to use the correct ammunition for your firearm. If you have any doubts, talk with a range safety officer or a staff member. We're glad to help you out. Now, let's talk about equipment. In addition to bringing your firearm and the proper ammunition, there are a few other things you will need. Required equipment can be purchased at the Shooting Sports Center, which includes eye and ear protection and targets. Optional equipment includes a spotting scope, plenty of water, and sunscreen. At Ben Avery, it is required that you wear eye and ear protection. Eye protection can be as simple as shower-proof sunglasses or as advanced as prescription or competitive shooting glasses. Ear protection can be as simple as foam earplugs to earmuffs. Some people even use both at the same time. Bring your own targets or buy them at the Shooting Sports Center. Target frames and masking tape for attaching the targets to the frame are provided along the line. A spotting scope makes it easier to see your shot pattern on a target downrange. Bring your own scope or rent one at the Shooting Sports Center. To rent a scope, bring a picture ID card, such as your driver's license, to the Shooting Sports Center when you check in. Don't forget to bring water or sunscreen to protect you from our hot desert weather. Water is available for sale in our Shooting Sports Center. Now that you have come to the main range, what happens next? First, pay for your visit at the Shooting Sports Center, then go to the tower where the range safety officer will check your receipt. Go down there to number 14. The tower range safety officer will tell you when it's safe to go to your shooting station, set up your target, and get ready to shoot. Casing and uncasing firearms must be done at the shooting table only, and never on the back bench. Remember that the muzzle of your gun may or may not be pointed downrange when you open the case. If it is not, close the case, turn it until the muzzle is pointed downrange, and then open it again. Look and listen to the tower for directions, which will be given in one of three ways. Over a loudspeaker, using a buzzer, and with a red flag. Cease fire, cease fire. Open and empty all firearms, remove all magazines, remove all ammunition. When you're for everyone's safety, always listen to and follow instructions from the control tower and range safety officers. In addition to range commands, the shooter must also pay attention to the red range flag located next to the range control tower. All shooters must stop shooting upon the ceasefire command, which may be given at any time. Stop firing, open and unload your firearm, set it down on the table with the muzzle pointed down range, step back behind the yellow line painted on the concrete. Shooting tables are off limits for any reason during the ceasefire period. If you need something from the table during this time, ask a range safety officer for assistance. During the ceasefire period, you may go downrange to check post or retrieve your target frames if you need to. People are downrange at this time, so handling or touching any firearms is prohibited for any reason. This includes rifles on the rifle racks mounted along the back shelf. During the ceasefire period, please remain behind the yellow line until the commands are announced that it is okay to resume shooting. You may resume shooting. We'll take another break in 15 minutes. Once the range control tower announces that the range is hot, it's now safe to resume shooting. You will also hear a buzzer. We use the buzzer to indicate that the 15-minute shooting period is over. 
The buzzer is followed by the ceasefire command. Open and empty all fire. The buzzer is used to indicate a hazardous situation. If you hear the buzzer, stop shooting immediately and await further instructions from the tower. Remember, if you hear the command to cease fire, cease you fire, must immediately fire. stop shooting. Open the action on your firearm, unload your firearm, and place it on the shooting table with the muzzle pointed down range. The system of buzzers, flags, and announcements allow the range safety officers and the tower to communicate with the shooters at their shooting stations. By watching, listening, and obeying these commands, you're playing your part in a system that provides everyone a safe and enjoyable experience here at the Ben Avery Shooting Facility. Now that you know what to expect during your visit, let's go through your checklist to make sure you're ready to get out there and enjoy a day on the main range. You have a firearm with the correct ammunition for your firearm. You also have or have a plan to get eye and ear protection, targets, and maybe a spotting scope. You brought or plan to buy water and sunscreen if it needed today. Keep in mind these three important safety rules to ensure a great experience for you and those around you. Treat every firearm as if it were loaded. Do not point your firearms at others. Always keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction and always use the correct ammunition for your firearm. In addition to the main range, the Arizona Game and Fish Department's Ben Avery Shooting Facility offers 16 competitive rifle and pistol ranges, six field archery ranges, and a clay target center. The Ben Avery Shooting Facility is also used by more than 250 user groups for different shooting disciplines. Firearms training, instructions, competition at all levels. If you're interested in firearms training or in competition, please visit our shooting sports center or call our office for more information. Now you're ready to go. If you need any assistance, please ask for help. There are three key points we want you to remember during your visit today. Always keep the muzzle of your firearm pointed up or down range and not at others. Uncase or case your firearms at the concrete shooting tables only, and the concrete shooting tables are off limits during the ceasefire period. Now you're ready to go. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. We're glad you've chosen to visit us at the Ben Avery Shooting Facility and hope you have a great time.